All right, so today we're going to talk about opportunity cost. And opportunity cost is actually a really basic concept. When you do something, you're giving up other opportunities. When you go hang out with your friends, well, you're losing some productivity time. When you go play video games, instead of working, you're losing it on money. And maybe forgetting to eat with all those monster energy drinks, right? Mm. Well, when we go to quantize or to count and understand what we are missing out, we can actually do this by comparing two or more things and how much of each we are able to do in comparison to the other. So, for example, if you were to go onto YouTube and watch videos, say, 375 per week, that seems like a lot, but I've seen you guys. Mm. You're going to get zero papers written, right? But if you write six papers, you're not going to have time to watch any videos. So your opportunity cost is how many videos you were not able to watch. Or you wrote six papers with an opportunity cost of 375 videos. However, here in the middle, we have 160 videos versus three papers. So what are you really losing out on? Your opportunity cost in this case would be papers because the videos aren't really contributing to your well-being or your production in general. This goes back to the production possibility frontier, which you can find in a link in the description. Uh, the product production uh, possibility frontier basically explains in a graphical format, if you were to chart these values out, say A is for videos and B is for papers, the correlation of what is possible for you to achieve. Anything outside of this is impossible because there's only one of you, there's only so many videos you can watch, and there are so many papers that you can write. And anything inside of this is also possible, but you're losing out on possibility or opportunity by not achieving the maximum results along this curve. Like I said, go check that video out. It'll be in the description. So let's think about this really quick. When you do something, you are giving something else up or multiples of things up. When you work, you're exchanging your time for money. When you go to the movies, you're exchanging your money for entertainment. When you go to a restaurant, instead of cooking at home, you're also spending more money, but you're also spending time there that you could be out, I don't know, walking through the forest or studying or writing your papers. So let's think of an example of this really quick. Imagine you're working in a company that handles customer relations or client relations in your department. Maybe you are handling CRM with potential customers and you have a meeting that's coming up as well. While this lead seems pretty promising, that meeting might also have valuable information inside of it or something that could really help contribute to your growth as a professional. Which one do you choose? This one has to be up to you, but what you choose is going to end up leaving a consequence on either side. Maybe the customer was waiting for an email or the opportunity to reach that customer because of their specific mood or just time of day was lost because of the meeting, but alternatively, the meeting might help you with that specific email situation. This is just life, and it's always going to be an issue. Opportunity costs are everywhere, such as buying roses instead of lilies forgetting that your lady likes lilies more than roses and thinking you were being romantic. Got yourself into trouble, huh? So in keeping with this analogy of an email versus your meeting, imagine that the meeting takes 15 minutes and that the meeting takes 60 minutes. Well, 60 minutes if Bob, the CEO, wants to be clear, concise, and short. Uh, you'll understand in the future. This is basically a subtraction problem. So. What happens if we choose the email is that we are missing out on one-fourth or 25% of the meeting. The opportunity cost is one-fourth of a meeting. If we choose the meeting, we are losing out on four emails. Or again, the opportunity cost is four emails or CRM contacts with our potential clients. So let's take a moment to think about this. Imagine that we change the time that an email is written to 30 minutes instead of 15. And imagine that we change the time that a meeting takes to 120 minutes. What would the opportunity cost be if you chose to send the emails versus what would the opportunity cost be if you chose the meeting? That's going to be a test for you. Leave a comment below with the answer. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell for more notifications in the future. I look forward to seeing you next time.